Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Morning Talk. Morning Talk with Lenora. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Well, we are just completing, I know I did, um, a great Mother's Day weekend. And um, hopefully all you other mothers had a great weekend as well. You know, it's, uh, it's always great to be appreciated. Um, my, my weekend celebration actually started on Saturday and Sunday. But Monday, I'm telling you about my, on Friday later. But on Saturday, I went to a great Mother's Day program at one of my M Girls Church. And it was really great. They had... Um, a well-known gospel singer he was entertaining us and they also prepared a meal for us so um, that was great it was a great start to Mother's Day weekend for me you know um, I'm ha- I have to sneak up on these things you know because you know I um, it's physical activity and I'm still you know I'm still getting my uh, my my feet together and getting used to being active and functioning like somebody who is um, not been through the physical aspects of my sin. You know, my mind is all ready to go. But you know, I got I have to listen to my body. So I have to sneak up on things because I'm like, you know, I'm ready to go. Anyway, so it, that was great on Saturday. So on Sunday, I went to my church and um, enjoyed a very good sermon. Um, it's always good. And then uh, I went by and I went to see, I went to see my mother. I went to the grocery store first, because you know that's what you do on Sundays. So I went to the grocery store after church, and then I went to go see my mom. And it so happens that my brother was there, and his uh, children, and his grandchildren, and um, his significant other. So she was there as well. So it was really great to see them for a short period of time. We hung out a little while later. And then it was my time to be mom. So my, the one of my daughters came over because all the, my other two daughters and my son no longer live here um, where I live. So they've moved away. So I just have one daughter who lives nearby. So she came over and she brought me these great cards. I don't know if y'all can see them. And I know I keep blurring, but great cards and flowers. But not only did my um, daughter bring me flowers, my aunt brought me flowers as well. That's my mom's younger sister, and she's great. She's like our other mother. Um, she's my mom's younger sister, and um, she hand-delivered them, which I thought that was uber nice, you know, that she did that for me. You know, I, you know it's, I really appreciate things people do for me because, you know, um, that means they think of me, and that means so much to me. You know, that people think of me, and they think to do nice things for me. So I love you, Aunt Jeanette. Thank you. Um, and my daughter, uh, besides cars, my other daughter is very funny. We had a great time. We went to um, the Greek festival here, and I had me a veggie gyro, and we wanted to get some baklava, but they ran out because we got there. You know, we, went, we were really concerned about the sun. So, you know, I can't hang out in the sun, uh, not because I, w- I don't want to ruin my beautiful tan, but... Um, it's really hard for my lungs in the time in this and when it's really because it's very humid here, so it's 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 a real it gets really difficult for me and other people in my asthenia to um, use our breathing muscles when it's hot, so um, when it's humid. So um, you know, like I say, I'm overjoyed to do all these great things, but then I got to keep all these things in mind that maybe people who are healthier than I, you know, they look at me and say, well, you look all right, but, you know, my, my, my wheels are turning, you know, because I've been there, and, you know, I'm trying to enjoy here right now, so, you know, I'm trying to be real cautious of the things that I do and how I do them. So, anyway, we went, actually went kind of late, and um, they had some great vendors. I saw a lady that, do, that does um, tattoos, but she does them a henna. I want a henna tattoo. I'm going to get one one day. Um, she does henna, and they were, oh, they were it was good jewelry and food, and I saw a lot of Greek dancing. It was a wonderful um, thing for, for she and I to do together. And then we went downtown. Um, we wanted to have some, since they had baklava, we wanted to get some uh, dessert. 
So we went to a great restaurant in the uh, city of Charleston. Um, it's called Camilla's, I think. Um, but we had, uh, we shared a really big piece of carrot cake and we had refreshments. And um, we actually sat, because they had chairs outside on the sidewalk. So we sat on the sidewalk and people watched. And, um, you know, it was great. We were sitting out chit chatting and catching up on things and, um, you know, sharing this piece of uh, carrot cake. And people were walking by and the cake was beautiful. Actually, I think I'm going to um, post a picture. It was beautiful. And we were on the corner. And we got the people watch this. It's big tourist time here in South Carolina. So the tourists are all out downtown, you know, enjoying the outside. And, um, you know, I live in South Carolina, but, you know, I do love enjoying the things that we have because we have great things here. That's why everybody keeps moving here. I know I was born here. So we did that. Um, we hung out. It was great. But, you know, I told you my daughter's really funny. One of the cards she got me, big card. And it has this on the front. And I know it's kind of backwards, I think. Best mom ever. Now, I'm touched. Catch up with me, camera. I'm, yeah, there you go. I'm touched. Like, I should be. I get this card. It has this really, you know, thoughtful thing inside. Mom, you care. Mom, you care to teach. Mom, you care. You teach. You love. You do it all. That's why Mother's Day is perfect time to learn to treat you like the queen you are. Enjoy your day. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm like, oh, thank you so much. And she says, that's a crown. The thing that was in front of the card, it was a crown. And she actually expected me to wear it. Look at this. Can you tell the lights up? Look, is that what you do to your mom that you love? She's so funny. So, I took a picture. I even posted it on Facebook. I love you, Day Day. So, I shared it, and that was it. I let other people see me in it, but I did not leave the house in it. I want you to know. But I do love you. But you know what? I'm telling you what I did on Friday, because that's what I left up. You know, I'm drinking water. It is hot, and, you know, I have to get my uh, water in. Anyway, on Friday, so I can be well-rested, because I figured I'd be doing some. I knew I was going on Saturday. I figured I'd be doing stuff on Mother's Day. So, you know, I got to make sure that I'm well-rested. So on Friday, I stayed in, and... Um, I decide to watch a movie. Now, I I watch a lot on the uh, Hulu and the Netflix stuff. I watch stuff on there too. You know, um, especially when I'm like, I'm, I have to stop my day and rest my body. I actually have to lay down and nap, you know. So um, I uh, watched, once I binged out on Being Mary Jane. And I think I got to, I think I saw it actually last show. And last um, situation, when um, Fred Williamson was there, and he was like, they found out he was the father of Mary Jane's brother. Remember that? Well, I was kind of um, surprised and really nice to see him. I thought he looked really good for his age. Do you all know that I think he was in his 80s? Well, um, I know a lot of young people really don't know who he is, but I remember them. So it so happens that I have this, um, you know, I've been planning to retire for a long time. So I like, I was like movies. So believe me, all these things I had a long time. <laughs> but now, you know, through the grace of God, I actually get a chance to look at them. Um, this is like 15 urban action movies. I bought this a long time ago. And I've watched it before, but actually sat down and watched, you know, relax where I didn't have to jump up and go out to go to work or whatever. The kids needed me, but, you know, I actually can watch it. Well, it so happens that uh, there's some movies on here that had Fred Williamson in. Now, to also remember, if everyone, Fred Williamson was also, oh, no, that wasn't him. 
I was thinking, I'm going to get you sucker, but he wasn't in it. That wasn't him. That was Isaac Keys and Bernie Casey, and I forgot the other football player with the big toe problem. That's what I thought. Well, he wasn't there. Anyway, back to Fred Williamson. His name is Frederick Robert Williamson Sr., and he was an American actor and a former professional American football player. As you know, those were our football players and athletes were our superheroes back in the 70s. You know, they were out there being activists and talking and, you know, and being in movies and giving us like action hero uh, role models, you know. So Mr. Williamson, also, he was a former Oakland Raiders and Kansas City chief football star. Um, and he, would, he, became, he came to the light. A, a, a prominent African American an action hero, when they started doing what they call black so, blacks exploitation, black black exploitation is a genre of the early 1970s. I'm saying it wrong, but what it is is a combination of black and expo, and and exploitation. So it's black exploitation, black it's black and exploitation together. Basically exploiting black people in movies. Um, and I think it's said that because Mr. Williamson's career actually blossomed in this genre when he was noticed by some Italian producers. And um, that's when he got into, they, the Italian producers were the people that got him in the movie Black Cobra. So those are the movies I watched, Black Cobra. And um, I actually watched uh, Black Cobra 1 which was, uh, it was made in 1987. And the storyline is, um, um, there's, there's a, you know, the story starts in this photographer, um, uh, she witnesses this murder. And, uh, she, uh, you know, was in, confronted by one of the members of this, uh, motorcycle team that, uh, motorcycle gang that was committing murder. Well, when he came to get her, because he knew she was watching, she flashed the camera in the face and got away and got away. Anyway, she's the police, and this is when Mr. W uh, Fred Race was coming. His name is Robert Malone in a movie. They call him Bob. Well, they, so they hired Bob to uh, take care of her while she was in the hospital. So um, when he got there, the gang already got there. You know how it goes. They were already going to try to kill her. He got her and saved her, took her to his house and everything. And then, you know, he fought the, the um, motorcycle guys. Um, and, you know, of course, it, um, it was, you know, he took care of her. She lived and all sort of stuff. But, you know, when I was watching him, he, it looked like he did his own action um, stuntman stuff. Like, most of his stuff was, like, kicking. But, you know, it wasn't violent. I could watch it. It's not like that. You know, they were shooting, but it wasn't like, like they make the stuff do real now. You know, I, don't, I can't watch it. So, um, but it was, like, cool. It wasn't, like, really corny, you know. Like, you know, like, those films, Chinese films, where they don't, you know, they, tr they translate to English. And it's like, you're like, but, you know, I just watch those, too, so I'm not talking about them. But, I, like I'm saying, Black Hole One wasn't bad. It, wasn't, it was pretty good. So, I watched it. And then I found out also in a little research that um, the plot of Black Cobra was identical to Cobra, which was the movie starring Sylvester Stallone. And that was made in 1986. Now that showed here in the United States theater. Of course, um, Black Cobra was in Italy because it was made by Italians. And then, you know, eventually we got to see them because, you know, they weren't blowing up the theater like Black Panther did, or Girls Trip. That wasn't happening back then. That's why I'm dressed in the 70s, too, if y'all didn't catch on. Anyway, um, Black Cobra 2, he did that in um, 1989. And then um, he's back, be this time he find he found himself in the Philippines. And um, his um, police department, was doing exchange with the Philippines. And so they sent him over there to learn skills or to share or whatever. Well, while he's like, um, you know, go, coming in from the Philippines, he gets pickpocketed by this dude, right? The cop got pickpocketed. Yeah, you got pickpocketed. So then, um, you know, of course you got to track down your own wallet. 
So D went to track down his wallet, and then he found the man who took his wallet was dead. And there starts the new thing. So then, you know, he met his daughter, and da da da. And, you know, um, so he got to the bottom of it, and, you know, who did that, and why they did it. And, you know, he was a star. You know, he was fighting. He had a sidekick. It kind of reminds me of uh, Lethal Weapon, you know, like. It was him and another guy. He was never like by himself. But it was interesting, you know, it was a storyline to it. So I watched that too. And then, um, oh yeah, the one thing about that one is that it was so funny to see those big white computers. You remember the, you know, we, the big white boxes, the white computers? That was real strange. You know, we got the flat screen. And I personally have a wireless, you know, Keyboard, so um, a wireless mouse, and they had this. She was they had a lady in there from the CIA, and she was downloading secrets. And she had a modem look like this big, and had a, a cradle for the phone. And you see these big white screens, you know, and you know, like the old ones. And I was like, wow, you know, it's like, you know, how, how you know, you forgot how, how, how long ago was that? Because I had one of those big white computers in my house, you know, yeah, I had one, so I saw on TV, I was like, wow, look at that, those big old things, and then I also saw um, Black Cobra 3, now, on this one, he was again, um, it starts with him, he's in a grocery store, right, and these young guys are robbing it, um, you know, of course, he's a superhero, or an action hero, you know, he's not going to let that happen. So he handled them in his way. I'm not telling y'all the whole story. Y'all need to watch it. He took care of that. Okay. So then after he did that, um, they, he needs to go back to the Philippines, which is good. You know, that's where the action is. And um, they, um, he was sent there because he was sent to find people who um, stole some arms, some guns and stuff. And he tracked down. But this one is like, it, got, it has some nice scenery. He's like, you know, they get in the jungle attire, like the man who's helping him put the black stuff on. You know, just the best ones who put the black stuff, like they're going to play football. And put the stuff on his face so they can go in the jungle. And they went in the jungle, and then they, um, you know, they were like shooting. And um, they went to, and, and uh, they had to go on the ground. And they saw these, you know, it's like typical. But it was good watching, you know, it was good to see him. He was like, you know, because right now it almost seems like Wakanda's the only movie that had black action heroes in it. No, they were doing this thing. It wasn't big screen like that, but, you know, there's Shaft and there's Fred Williamson. Because, you know, that's the play, that's the funny thing about what Keenan I want, why Keenan Williams said. <laughs> and I'm going to get you sucker. Because remember, he had Bernie Casey with his uh, background music and Keenan and band playing like the Shaft music. That was a play on Shaft and the other action heroes. So they were like, you know, they're always jokey. So that's what that was. So there was also a Black Cobra 4, and the fl that film was released in 1991. And it was about Arab, Arab terrorists and kidnapping. Um, the film never got an American release, so um, we never saw it over here. But, because um, I remember back here in South Carolina long ago, we used to go to the movie theater a lot. Like Saturday, had like the dollar movie. Y'all remember that, right? So, this is, I'm about done. I'm, I hope y'all enjoyed my movie review of Black Cobra. That's what I did on Friday. To relax for all the great things I did on Saturday and Sunday. So, I hope you all had a great Mother's Day as well. And um, I will be talking to you soon. Thank you for dropping in and seeing me. This is Lenora saying, for you, Jonas, deuces. So y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel and like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Bye.